I really just need to get my life together. I found you, girl, I like being around you. Feel like Kanye, I'm bound to. Shawty, if you down, I'm down to. Yeah, I found you, girl, I like being around you. Feel like Kanye, I'm bound to. Shawty, if you down, I'm down to. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say it. everybody welcome back to my channel if you guys are new baby welcome to the party my name is Shay Marie please make sure everybody is liking commenting and subscribing for me hi oh my god you guys I have not did a medical assistant vlog in so long I'm kind of excited to bring out a work with me today we're working a 12 hour shift and it's the clinical side <laughs> y'all know we, we we haven't been locked in for a little minute okay it's so much that I have to talk to you guys about. We're going to get into all of that. But right now, I got like five minutes before I need to pull off. So, I just wanted to start the video, check in, say hello. I'm about to go get my Dunkin' Donuts. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know I need my coffee, okay? If you're a medical assistant, coffee is essential, okay? Like, if you're not drinking coffee, I don't know what you're doing. Like, how are you even... How are you dealing with patients with no coffee? Like, you need coffee time okay <laughs> but let me just head out i'm about to just um go to dunkin's on this real quick then i'm gonna get to work when i get to work i'm gonna check in i'm gonna chop it up with y'all let y'all know what's been going on let y'all know what's not going on you know put y'all in on a little bit of tea but okay guys all right all right, all right. we gotta go we gotta go Hey guys, I finally made it to work and I haven't even stocked my rooms yet. Check to see if everything is in the rooms because patients were already outside at the door. Like my goodness. I'm just about to put my lunch away and then I'm gonna show y'all some stuff when I can.
guys so i'm at work and i just wanted to come in and check in really quick with y'all so i'm at one of my old sites for those of you that don't know i am now per diem so i literally just pick up shifts whenever i want wherever i want and i'm so thankful for that because i really be needing a mental health break okay we're going to get into all of that later because I mean, I'm probably wondering, like, girl, where you been at? But it's been so busy. It's 11.30. I got here at 7.50 this morning. And it's literally been patience after patience after patience. Lines out the door. And I just want to take time to relax. It's freezing in here. I'm tired. Okay? All of the above. But I just want to, you know, let y'all know a little something, something. Um, I haven't been to this actual office in a while. But things have changed okay things have changed then out a shared office so they're urgent care as well as an allergist um yeah so i'm gonna show you guys as much as i can i am here till 8 p.m tonight so let's go
Hey y'all. I'm on break right now, so I'm currently eating. But let's let's talk a little bit. Life has just been life in, okay? If life has been life in for you, leave me a comment below and just let me know because it's like I know I'm not the only person going through stuff, but it's just like I don't know what's really going on. And like I'm like mentally I I just checked out. Like mentally I needed a break from everything, okay? So what I did was I took some time off of work. Now I'm back. I've been working a lot. Um this week I've worked two 15 hour shifts and then today I'm doing a 12. But yeah, I really just needed a break. Like I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I just feel like I don't know what I want to do. Um, one day I want to do this, the next day I want to do that. I've just been so stressed out because mentally in my head, I'm just like all over the place. Like my face is breaking out. At one point it was clearing up, but now it's just like, I don't know. I'm slowly getting back on track, you know, getting back into the groove of things. Okay, guys, my break is over and... I'm just about to make me a tea because it is freezing in here. Like, if you work in healthcare, then you know what's up. It's always cold. Let me just show you how the snacks, though. Okay, guys so i have some downtime right now it's a pretty slow um i got about three hours left when i first came in it was super busy but it eventually slowed up which is good because i got time to talk to y'all for those of you that don't know as a medical assistant you know you just have to triage patients meaning bring the patients inside the rooms you know you take their vitals you take down their symptoms any medications that they're on or taking maybe their allergies um you perform whatever they came in for, whatever testing they need, COVID tests, flu tests, your analysis, um, pregnancy tests, drawn blood, whatever it is that you have to do at your specific location. Once you perform those tests, you um, enter the test results as well as all the vital signs and everything into their chart. So charting. And then the provider takes it from there. So, you know, it's a pretty simple job. It just could get hectic depending on how many patients there are back to back but okay so that's that but yeah you guys i've just been so down lately i'm just really trying to figure out what it is that i want to do like i really just need to get my life together and then on top of that it's just like i'm still breastfeeding okay i no longer pump anymore if you guys remember and if you're new here you don't know but you know i'm a mom i'm breastfeeding um i used to have to pump every four hours at work I no longer pump. My baby's about to be two years old, so I'm trying to get her off of my breast, but she's allergic to dairy, so she can't have regular milk. So I do the best that I can. But yeah, sometimes this job can be extremely draining, you guys. Like, And I feel like that's what made me have to really take a break on top of me actually just being a mom. And remember, I was going to school at the time, you know, for nursing. I just needed a break overall overall i needed a mental break i just needed a break from everything and everybody okay so um i was having issues with my job as far as 
them having me travel so me being per diem i do travel to other locations which i don't mind because i'm per diem so i get to pick and choose where i want to work what time i want to work which i absolutely love but me being on a regular schedule and i'm set to one location and you're waiting so i come to work telling me oh you need me to go over here you need me to drive here i just like i wasn't with it i wasn't happy with that but um i'll talk about that in another vlog as far as traveling as a medical assistant but yeah for the most part you guys your mental health comes first these jobs don't care about you the quicker you win the quicker you out okay if you if they have to fire you today you'll, they'll have somebody by tomorrow so don't stress yourself out going overboard doing too much feeling like you have to do something for a job no do what you want to do and sometimes i record for you guys on youtube but then it's like i watch the video and i don't like it or i wait too long to edit and post it and it just feels very old and then i no longer want to post the video i have to really stop doing that i'm trying to get myself on like a schedule um you know i've been juicing lately if you haven't go watch my juicing videos please but yeah i've been getting into juicing i love juicing so i'm also going to be posting juicing videos so that way I'm not only posting medical assistant videos because y'all I'm telling you medical assistant can be draining like I love what I do but it's very draining sometimes like who you talking to that's how I be feeling at work sometimes <laughs> but overall I'm just really trying to figure out life okay like I want to start posting more content I need to get on a schedule I just have to really push myself because once I get overwhelmed that's it and clearly y'all see that like once i'm overwhelmed y'all not even getting a video for a month but i'm trying to stop doing that i'm trying to start like i said when i get myself on a schedule it's like okay i know i'm recording this day i'm recording that day i need to edit on this day and then post all my videos for these dates like i just really need to get on a schedule i hope everyone who has been leaving me comments about their um test coming up to be registered or certified has passed and if you haven't taken your test yet i hope you are studying please make sure everybody is liking commenting and subscribing to my video and don't forget to turn your post notification bells on so you can be notified every single time that i upload okay but whatever videos y'all want to see just leave me a comment because i'm gonna do it at this point i really i really do want to start being more serious with youtube because i enjoy recording I just be lazy okay i just get distracted i get overwhelmed it's a lot but i really realized when i took my little break that i have to stay productive because if i'm not being productive i'm literally not doing nothing and that's not something that i want to do i don't like that feeling so yeah just trying to get myself together i'm about to go back to work even though I ain't nothing to do Oh, and another thing, y'all, before I go back to work, let me just tell y'all, I was so stressed out that I cut my hair off. Like, it was still falling out from um, postpartum. You know, I'm, I was suffering from postpartum hair loss. I think I told y'all that before, but it was to the point where it was just overwhelming. Like, my hair shedding. Like, it was growing lengthwise, but it was shedding a lot. So, to me, it was, like, thinning out. Um, I was just sick of that. Like, what, like hair falling out weight up and down face breaking out here and there work stressing me out school stressing me out like everything was just coming to me at once and it was just too much so i cut it off okay i feel like once i cut my hair off that was me letting me know girl get your shit together like you got a baby you got goals you got things that you want to do and if you can't even let go of your hair you can't let go of the past your hair is gonna grow back so right now I got these little broccolis in my head. You know when you just like put your hair in rubber bands? If I could find a picture, I would put it right here. But don't judge me. <laughs> um, that's pretty much how my hair is looking. I'm almost 100% positive that I could get braids in about like a week. So that's what I'm going to do. This time around, I really just want to take care of my hair. I want to take care of my skin. Like, okay, I'm stepping into that era of taking care of me. Okay, so... Don't judge me. That's why my hair is looking a little lumpy and crazy. But yeah, that's that. Um, if you guys want hair videos, I have 4C here. 
So for all my 40 girlies, if you want to hear videos, let me know. Might be a little embarrassing, but let me know and then I can get those videos for you guys as well. Because I'm really taking care of my hair this go around. Like this is not my first time cutting my hair off either, y'all. So I really do want to take care of my hair. I'm not gonna blow dry it this time. It's gonna be good, it's gonna get good. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The video is now over. We got about three hours left, and I'm going to see y'all soon. So I just had two patients, but I do think I'm about to do a COVID test on myself just to show you how it's done. I'm